Hey, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, today we wanted to make a video showing how to set up a uh, analytic event in an individual on camera and trigger uh, an alarm uh, inside ACC. So this is a, a three-step process. Basically, we have to set up a, a trigger in the camera, we have to set up an alarm, and then we have to set up a rule to link the two together. Uh, th this works the same whether you're using an H5A camera or H4 or H3A camera. Um, obviously, the analytics are going to be um, the best in an H5 camera, um, but this will give you a, a good understanding on how to set up um, alarms and trigger. Uh, it's just a uh, how to set up events and trigger alarms. Uh, and if you find this video useful, uh, greatly appreciate if you uh, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date on our latest videos. And if uh, you need some help programming uh, your Vigilon system, uh, check us out at uh, twgsecurity.com. Uh, All right, here we go. So we have an H5A camera right here. Uh, step one, we want to go in and we want to set up uh, an analytic event. So um, if you've seen our previous videos, you can see we went through all the different analytic events and when to use them and, it, and basically a deep dive in them. So uh, just for simplicity, we're going to set up um, object crosses a beam. So we're going to use this road right here because I know we're going to get a lot of events. I'm going to flip the, alarm, uh, the line around so it's getting the cars going the correct dire direction. And we're going to disable uh, people or person, so it's just vehicles, number of objects, one. So when one vehicle crosses that line, uh, it's going to trigger um, an event for us. Okay, so I'm going to label it. I'm going to call it line test. And we're going to hit OK. So now you can see in this camera, we now have line test as an analytics event. Hit OK. Step two, now we're going to come in and we're going to set up an alarm. I'm going to hit add. So the way I'm setting up this alarm, the way I like to do it anyway, we're going to use uh, external software event. There's multiple different ways to do this. Uh, I would say uh, the way I'm recommending here is probably the most granular when you want to pop up uh, specific events and specific cameras. Okay, so uh, we have to select the camera that this event is linked to. So we're going to grab the H5A camera. You, you can see here we have a pre-triggered uh, uh, pre-alarm recording time and a recording duration. So basically when this alarm happens, it's going to record for five seconds and then uh, continue for uh, a minute. So we're actually going to change this down to 15 seconds. So it's going to give you a, a pre-alarm time of five seconds and a record time for 15 seconds. We're going to click view linked device when alarm is triggered. So that's going to basically pop up video and, and uh, uh, let you do things and let you actually see the alarm event in ACC. Next, you've got to add a user or group. Uh, you can add multiple users or you know multiple users in a group. Uh, so this way you can kind of spread the, the load out uh, across your security team. Also, this is what really drives the events. If you want to get a specific uh, notification to a specific user, um, so we're going to send it to myself. Uh, we're going to have a have it play an alarm. Pretty simple bell. Hit next. Um, so we're not really going to use anything for this particular uh, event uh, that we're setting up. But here, here we go. Um, so basically, you can require a comment uh, when acknowledging the alarm. Uh, and you can also have it activated digital output uh, when the alarm is acknowledged. And you can also require uh, a confirmation before firing that output. So say you hit, need to reset a bell or reset a strobe or, or, or something, uh, you can do that here, uh, all integrated into the alarm. We're going to label this, call it line test. Uh, you can set a priority for that alarm, more important, less important. And you can set a schedule. Uh, and you can enable and disable this alarm. Finish. Now we can see we have a line test in the alarms. Hit close. And now we're going to go set up a rule to link the two together. So uh, select rule event. Select uh, events that will trigger the rule action. So what do we want to trigger? So we want to trigger on a video analytics event when it starts, right? So right now it's when any uh, uh, video analytic event start or sorry, when any video analytics event started on any camera, that's not going to work for what we want to do here, right? So we want to be a little bit more specific. So 
we're going to come in we're going to click select the line test so right now if you had the line test uh, on multiple cameras so basically when that line test is triggered on any of the cameras that you had it on it will uh, be a rule uh, event we're going to be more specific here come in select the h5a camera that we set the uh, trigger on so now when line test started on the h5a camera uh, what do we need it to do now? So we're going to have it trigger an alarm. So again, we want to be specific. We want to come in and we want to select uh, a line test. We hit OK. So right now, when a line test started on the, the H5A camera, trigger uh, alarm line test. Okay, so this page right here, you want to pay attention to if you know you need a way to arm and disarm um, this um, alarm. Uh, or this rule, I should say. Um, so, you know, an example, say you have perimeter analytics and you have an alarm panel in your, uh, in your building and uh, you only want the analytics to fire off uh, when the alarm panel is armed. So you could program uh, an output on your alarm panel to follow um, the arm status uh, and then you can link that to a camera and basically say when this digital input is active, you know, basically or not active, uh, depending on how you want to set up, um, you can configure that here so that the uh, rule only fires when the alarm panel is armed. Okay, we're gonna leave that blank. Go to the next page, rule description. Uh, call this line test. Um, again, you can set a schedule and you can enable, disable it, and it shows you basically exactly what's gonna happen. Now I press finish. Okay, wow, that was fast. So uh, obviously there's some cars going on. If I go to focus of attention, um, you can see right here, we already got a couple alarms. There's cars going. And we can acknowledge this one here. replay and you'll see this car start to cross the line I don't remember where exactly I put the alarm but there you go so that was a uh, brief setup showing you how to uh, use your analytics to trigger uh, alarm events. You can also come over to the alarm page here and you can see there's going to be a whole bunch of cars coming by. So you can see all the alarms as the cars trigger over it. And I can go back and see which vehicle triggered uh, which event and go back to live right here. So you got a whole bunch of cars stacked up here. So uh, I can acknowledge this. I can purge it. And then, you know, the alarm page would stay empty uh, or you can come over to your focus of attention page here um, and view your alarms. So here they go. You're going to get a whole bunch of them right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please click the like button and subscribe for future videos.